Hello and welcome, my name is Sarah and I create mod tutorials for The Sims 4. Today we are gonna go over the overview of how I work, like how my workspace is, how I like to create my mods and I'm just gonna share this with you guys. And so I did something like this similar like last year but I mean it's been a year and things change in a year so we're just gonna go and redo this and if you like this idea you can copy this as your workspace thing um, if you don't like it then just do your own thing like just do whatever works for you so first things first this is what the program will looks like if you open it the sims 4 studio i'm using star but in future tutorials i might go back switch back like every now and then to the previous version because i use the previous version for the thrift store overhaul mod um, because it's just quicker and this one this version it, it takes a little bit longer for stuff to load and it's it gets quite annoying so as a mod creator, I do not use any of these buttons over here. Do make sure that you write down your creator name. Uh, however, I do use uh, this button which says my projects. And if you click on this, you can open any package file from in-game. Um, and also you might have noticed I have two Sims 4 Studios open. This is just how I like to work. Um, so this is my main file, core file. And then this one would be for text and images, strings, how I like to name it. So to open a new, create a new package file, we're just gonna go in tools and then say create empty package and then just type in a name and it will open the package file for you. So here we go. This is how I like to have my workspace set up. So we have the core file and in the core file will be everything of the mod that is not allowed to be deleted. You know what I mean? Like I do have optional files and if you remove optional files then the mod still works fine. Core file, however, that always needs to be in game if you're using the mod because without a core file, the whole mod doesn't work. Um, and then I like to use uh, this section over here for text and um, images, like I said before. And that's just because if we go and say tools and then go into string table lookup and we'll just take the first one and say add to current pay package. Um, that's just because if I say edit this, so here I can edit all the text and I would like to now go in the tuning and find a tuning file that I wanna edit. Like it doesn't matter where I click, it just doesn't work and it becomes very frustrating when you try to work on a mod because then you have to go and say i'm gonna copy this key copy save and then go into the file you were looking for and sometimes it can be like a hundred files in here and then you gotta paste and then you go back to your language and then go back to edit and like oh no i wanted i wanted it to be a little bit different and it becomes very frustrating. That's why I just like to do this. And then I always, before I start a mod, um, take the string table of English because my game is in English. And then um, once I'm done doing the mod, I'm just gonna go into tools, modding, and then say copy string tables to all languages. And it just copies everything that you've written in the one language that was selected. And we'll just copy it to every single language like every other language so if someone downloads your mod um, and they have for example their, their game is in Dutch now everything will still be um, the text will still be there and it won't be missing any text um, however the text will be in English or the language that you chose to write your mod in that's just a very quick setup of how I like to work and have my workspace so that's just the reason why yeah so that was it for this very very short video um, I hope you enjoyed it and if you have any questions please let me know in the comments down below or go to my discord um, and don't forget to assign yourself the mod tutorial role to see everything about mod tutorials um, so yeah see you in the next video okay bye